this little diagram bush. Go ahead and grab yourself some of this cool merchandise. It will be linked in the description or the comment section. Thank you for the support and enjoy the video. What's up you guys, it's the Tiger Master 360 XC with another video. Welcome to Chit Chat with the Tiger Master slash Speed Drawing Frenzy Fridays. I said it's super duper weird. <laughs> Anyway, um, check me out on Instagram at the Tiger Master 360XC if you ever want to uh, follow me on social media or Twitter at the Tiger Master. Anyway, today we're going to be drawing, or we are redrawing, LOLXD. <laughs> we're drawing what if Bubbles was a black girl? So basically, I love, 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 love. Oh my gosh, I adore the pop of girls. I literally had, I I think I might have said this a long time ago when I did the pop of girls like tutorial, how to draw them and stuff. And I was thinking of like redoing that, but that's really basically how you draw the pop of girls. Literally like an oval, a box for the body, and then some more ovals for the arms and legs. And then you just, and then you just pretty much just draw like the details like it's literally like a line in the middle i don't know how you i feel like anybody could draw the pop of girls like the style is so simple yet it's unique i don't think I, i've ever really seen a show like that before at least when i was young i literally had like pop of girls socks i've had pop of girls book book bags i've literally had Pop of Girls was just just my thing. It is my ringtone on my phone. It's going to stay the ringtone on my phone <laughs> for as long as I want it to be because I just love the Pop of Girls. So I was like, I'm thinking of doing like this little series thing. Like, what if uh, these characters or whatever were black? And I don't know, like. I want to like go into detail about this drawing but before I like even start this series I guess there's like a disclaimer because I had saw like this actually it was when I was looking up other titles like I was thinking of like titles for like the last video I posted and there was like this one video I saw talking about black washing and white washing and I was like I had never heard of black washing before I'm, i really genuinely never heard of black washing i didn't even think people could have the audacity to put when people when black people draw characters as black and make that into somehow similar or in the same category as whitewashing like i don't understand how that's even possible like literally whitewashing it is history i don't know any history like significant history of, of when people drawing stuff black literally whitewashing is a thing that's happened for for years like centuries where europeans would go ahead and redraw a whole host of things like one thing you wouldn't you probably wouldn't even know that um do you do people even know of like the black madonna or like the black virgin mary and the black jesus did you know about like the uh the black 12 disciples you probably wouldn't have known that because that's in that has literally been whitewashed but you can look at russian icons i bet you just google russian icons you can see that literally all of a lot of characters in the bible were actually black or melaninated people the majority of people on this earth are melaninated it's a fun fact but yet the majority of of uh, things that are produced like in film things that are drawn in paintings it's crazy to me because i remember growing up and i would i really never drew black characters I didn't start drawing black characters like that until I think uh, probably like 2018. You can literally go on my Instagram at the time my G6XC and you can see where I started drawing black characters. I really did not do that like ever. I I don't I didn't do that. 
because I was so used to drawing characters with, I guess, white skin because, you know, it's a character on the screen. They typically have like white or peach, peachy skin or whatever. But, you know, people who didn't look like me. And it's weird because I was normal and a lot of kids did that. But it's like we never... We like never sit there and draw characters that look like like what we look like. So it's just crazy to me how someone can say something as absurd as black washing. Like when the heck did blacks? It's weird to me because I also saw this on an Instagram post. It was like this drawing of Jasmine. And like the person who drew Jasmine almost as a white girl. Maybe like a white girl with a tan, like a little bit of a tan. I, anyway, Jasmine is, Jas, you know, the whole story of Aladdin is very weird because it's, it's supposed to be, I think, based in Arabia, but they have like Indian themes in it. And it's just like, I don't, I don't think they really researched their history when it, when they were making Aladdin because it's just, there's so many mixes between uh, Indian and middle eastern type cultures into one movie so it's like uh i don't really i don't really know if jasmine is is indian or if jasmine is uh arabic are you gonna really say arabic you say arab my bad arabic's the language i sound so stupid anyway my point is that they drew her as like a white girl and everyone in the comments was like, "What? Why is she white?" And then someone was like, "Well, what's the difference when, when people blackwash?" Oh my gosh! Maybe I should make this like a whole topic on like actually do a type of history lesson when it comes to art and uh, whitewashing and like the importance of representation. And the whole reason why there's no such thing as blackwashing is because we're not drawing characters as black to like completely remove the history and like rewrite the the whole history and image of 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 characters for generations. Like me drawing bubbles as a black girl isn't going to like cause people to now think in the future that bubbles was a black girl i mean it, it's not gonna happen but you know why it's not gonna happen because black people are simply not in in the system of power we're not in power we're not in power the system the system at least in america is not which is where i'm from so i, I could speak about america but like the system in America is perpetuated by by whites, and if you, I feel like if you think that there's such thing as blackwashing, then obviously you're not aware that the system is 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 really racially skewed towards whites. Me drawing a black character is not going to cause people to now think that Bubbles is black, but people drawing a character as white because they have power. And uh, especially when it comes to like stuff in Hollywood, you know, like they have power. They have the, the most, most of the people who are in charge of Hollywood are not blacks and they have the ability to create a whole entire narrative. Black people just, a group of black people just drawing bubbles, blossom, buttercup as black ain't going to change nothing. Me drawing Midoriya as black is going to change nothing. Me drawing Tanjiro as black is not going to change anything. Someone drawing freaking uh, a, a, a Cinderella princess as black is not going to change anything. It's not going to make a difference. The whole point, at least in like the system, it's not going to cause people to like completely forget the originality, the original image of the character. But when people whitewash, it causes people to forget the original image of the character. People don't even understand how how much whitewashing and the promotion of whitewashing has affected not just like art it's literally caused people to bleach it's caused people to dye their hair will bleach their hair it's caused people to do all types of stuff um it's caused people to get certain uh cosmetic surgeries done all that stuff stems from whitewashing uh <laughs> it's just i mean like if you grow up seeing that the image of beauty 
and and everything is white you're going to think that if you don't look the closest to white then you must not be beautiful so like a lot of people when it comes to art for instance like if you don't see as white you're not gonna think you're good enough you know if people don't even realize the psychological thing in it and how much it stems and how how deep it is ingrained in a lot of people's minds and you won't really realize how important it is to have representation um for your race of people like people won't, won't really realize it i mean another thing i really want to say is like you really can't argue i've never seen a situation where someone has turned well this is something i want to i want to bring up though this is something i will i want to bring up when it, someone might argue something like uh superhero characters being turned into black characters let's say for instance i think his name is marcus morales i think anyway spider-man universe uh is it the, is, it's like the multiverse but anyway you know how he is half latino uh, his mom's latino and his dad's black is that is that blackwashing no, that's not blackwashing. Why? Because the original Spider-Man is still like the original Spider-Man was even like in the the freaking uh, comic itself. Like I don't know if that's spoilers, but he he's like he's there. Uh, it was just kind of like passed down, or like uh, was well, like a split universe type of thing. Anyway, the point is that. You're not going to sit there and freak out and be like, oh my gosh, now everyone's going to think Spider-Man is black. I don't think the majority of people even think Spider-Man is black. Um, it was like another character. I think they made like Iron Man, like a black woman or something. Do people even think of Iron Man? Like it's like, do people think of Iron Man and see a black woman? No, because Iron Man is established as a white man. Same as Peter Parker is established as a white man. Just having a character like pop up for like one comic season as a black person isn't going to change anything. It's not going to... All it's going to do is just have black kids be like, Oh my gosh, I can be a superhero. That's why stuff like Black Panther and stuff like Static Shock or black lightning or like ha having like general characters like storm you know all that type of stuff is like so important to black people because now they can see themselves after years and years of just not having anybody to look at i remember when i was growing up there was practically no i i don't remember like on cartoon network when i was little i don't remember any shows when I was around, let's say like six, seven, eight, nine, you know, I don't remember any shows that had black characters. I there was only like the only one show that had like a black character. I think it isn't Johnny from Edna Eddie Black, but he was like so weird. I don't know what Johnny is. Honestly, Johnny could be anything. Johnny could be a turtle for all we know, just disguised as a person. I, I don't know what Johnny is, honestly, but like. My point is that there was no shows like that at all. There was, there was none. I, I mean, you look at the majority of TV. Are, are they like, are they multi, multi-cultured? No. The, the, it's, it's, it's something that's coming up slowly but surely. But my point is that you can't make the argument of anything about blackwashing because we're not drawing these characters to remove the history of like white people or um asian people or arab people we're not doing that whereas whitewashing was literally created no purpose of that was to remove the history and re-image it so that the whole the whole generations of people don't remember what you originally looked like just think now that the white image is the real image so black people are drawing it so we can have representation that's all. I want to see. I want to see more characters that look like me. Is that wrong? Like Asians draw Asians, whites draw whites. You know, a lot of the time. Why can't I draw a black character? I I don't even. And like another reason why it's such a big thing when 
people draw black characters or melanated characters as white why that's such a big thing is because it's it's a history behind it you're perpetuating you're perpetuating the system of racism okay that's all it is and i think a lot of people if you do believe that there's such thing as black washing or you might even say like asian washing i mean like I, it's like do you guys remember death note like the netflix movie was that not crazy you see that's this this what i'm talking about and i know like i think what l was black but it's like just because you got like the token black character doesn't mean like oh now it's black wash no the people who made the show were obviously <laughs> european descent because i feel like if black people made made Death Note the movie they would have definitely just made Death Note the movie with with Asian characters I mean like majority of people like, like another I, another image of whitewashing would be like Dragon Ball Z Evolution how like they literally took all the characters and put them in high school and they're trying to do that like like similar thing with like an avatar live action and that's a big thing where the creators are like heck no or like kind of like dropping out of it because they're like um they want to keep avatar as a cartoon as like a cartoony type thing and a, and a kiddish a kiddish atmosphere but no they're trying to make it so uh teenagery and you know all that angst type stuff anyway i might go into a video i might actually make a video about whitewashing and when at least at least when it comes to art in different mediums of art i don't know when i'm gonna do that i'm gonna really have to have a time to sit and plan that because like when i was doing the um black face in anime that took me a long time to to do it didn't take me too too long but it i did have to do a bit of research and searching and stuff like that but anyway this is bubbles um Basically, I decided to make Bubbles kind of like a fair-skinned girl because, I don't know, like, I was thinking, like, okay, why would she have, like, blondish hair, you know? And I didn't want her to have, like, straight-up blonde hair, but I was just, like, thinking, like, everyone knows, like, that light-skinned chick that got, like, blonde hair. I know about, I mean, I got plenty of family members that have, like, blondish highlights. I used to even have highlights in my hair when I was younger, but it's like that's a thing when uh black people are tend to be lighter skinned and it's not always the case but uh that tends to be the case at least with like uh african americans where like when they're fair skinned they tend to have blonde hair so i was like okay that would make sense for bubbles to have like a blondish toned kind of hair so i was like okay i'll make her a little bit fair but not too fair. And then uh, I just decided, I don't know, I was just kind of experimenting. I was just pretty much experimenting when it came to like uh, the colors and how it was shading. Like at first I had it on multiply for like the shade, but then I was like, I don't really like it because it's too dark. And I just put it on normal. And I was like, ooh, that looks nice. It might be a little bit too saturated for some people's eyes, but I don't really care. And then, um, you know, I kind of like refined the tones. A lot of this was experimental and I think I'm going to definitely keep doing this. And then when it came to like um, the background, I was like, okay, of course I got to add bubbles because she's bubbles like duh. And then um, I decided to add like a little bit of like a, a gradient, not like a gradient. What do you call that? Just like a, a shadow on the sides of the canvas because I wanted to do something similar to how I used to post a lot of my artworks when I was doing traditional art mostly. Um, and the reason why I started doing traditional art a lot is because I'm not in school anymore and I used to do all my drawings during class. Uh, that's what kept me, that, that's what helped me focus in class because I really can't just sit there and watch someone lecture. So I would draw. So pretty much all those drawings came from when I was drawing in school and then I would post it and I would like um, 
edit it a little bit and add like a certain shine so i wanted to kind of like recreate that i tried to add like a shine on it and i was like that's way too much um one thing i do like about this drawing though i know you could probably hear that lawnmower is like getting closer and closer i'm trying to hurry but like maybe i could go to a different room but one thing i did like so i just moved to a different room but one thing i did like about uh this drawing is the eyes like i was like you know usually I always add like a little shine on it but then i was like i need to make it more cutesy so i decided to add like three of them and that made it really cool so i uh, so just just a lot of things i experimented with when it came to this drawing and i really like it but I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. Uh, let me know what you think about black washing, white washing. Is that is black washing even a thing? What do you think about it? Um, there's literally nothing I could do about this lawnmower in the background. It's just getting louder and louder. But yeah, I hope you guys <laughs> enjoy. Um, and yeah, check me back next week. Uh, if you have any suggestions for uh, other characters I should draw as black girls or black boys i'm probably gonna do a lot of black girls because i haven't drawn girls in a long i don't draw girls like that so i'm probably gonna do girls but if you have any characters you want me to draw as like a black girl or a black boy just let me know in the comments and yeah follow me on instagram at the tiger master 360 xc twitter at the tiger master check out my webtoons all that link is uh in the description if you want to Give me with something from my Amazon wish list that's also in the description. So uh, yeah, I hope you have a great and wonderful day. Um, I hope this wasn't too scattered. I, I don't know. Anyway, bye bye <laughs> Are you dissatisfied? Do you want to see more content from the Tiger Master? Well, go ahead and join me on Patreon.com slash the Tiger Master to get exclusive content, including sketches, work in progress, and comic book pages. In addition, there's also Patreon exclusive merchandise. So join me today on patreon.com slash the Tiger Master. And thank you to all of those who support me on Patreon. Thank you. And I hope you come back next week for another video. Goodbye. Fan art used to be super duper fun for me to draw. And I don't necessarily have an issue with fan art. But it's like because everyone draws fan art and draws like the same thing over and over and over again. Then I